All right, so I'm about to be joined by the Puppe Woes for this game one between, this is losers, so. Losers quarters. Losers quarters. Losers gets fifth. Fifth, and that means no money. And yep. on a monthly, you know, both teams playing their hearts out. Yeah. FD is a pick. Okay. So we're seeing um, two of the players not play their characters that are really their main, and Iota playing villager and Zephyr playing Corrin. Yeah. So no matter what happens game one, be prepared for a switch. Game, uh, when they were playing Cinnamon and Z-Money, mm -hmm. Iota played, I think, Mewtwo, and then he lost. He switched to villager and then won two in a row. Okay. Like, oh, like, wow. No, he played Wario game one. They and then they lost, and then he put villager in a row. So Zephyr with the unfortunate SD right there. Oh my god. Nice spike by Squirt. Yeah, jab, jab, put it. It works with like jump into it. Mm -hmm. Reggie should know better at you know, this point. He's gonna air dodge. So Squirt playing super aggressive and just letting Villager cover him and another forward air spike. Not gonna do it though. Yeah. But Squirt definitely and and step. I cannot talk. Squirt definitely putting the fear of the forward smash into Blue Team. Already hitting two. Yep. Uh. So they got a lot of extra credit though, and Iota's still living. He can live for a while longer with Belzer. He can literally just camp, camp let too. That's so, very true. Like, jump, let's hop border. Very good. Yeah, so it is only a one stock advantage, but blue team's percents are just climbing rapidly. And red team has firm stage control. Uh, sadly, what's he gonna do? Mix up? And yeah, that's really Yeah, the improper DI right there is gonna take it. Good mix up by Zephyr. But red team still firmly in control. I think we're gonna say Cloud Swords. Like Cloud Swords? So you're predicting Zephyr. that red team wins? Yes. Okay. It's like. They're, just nice. ta they're taking too long to kill red team, but they still be good at killing. I agree. I don't know how uh, Corn and Link work for a team either. Um, yeah. it, they really, like, what makes Sova Unknown pretty good in teams, or very good in teams, is that his ability to stay back in camp, but Squirk is just not letting him do that. Constantly in but his face. Squirk's gonna play, like, super aggressive. Like, honestly, so Sova Unknown just put a bomb, but I think that's, like, the first bomb we've seen in, like, a minute. Like, yeah. just has been in his face. Squirk's just been rushing him down and punishing him for every bomb he's pulled. And Sova Unknown already at 118. They're down with two stops here. This is going to be very tough for Blue Team to make a comeback. Missed the grab. Good spacing there by Sovo. Oh yeah, you can't come down with that option in center stage. Good spacing on Zephyr though to punish with the tipper. Because that tipper is extremely powerful. So that was very smart by Squirk. He went for the jab down tilt, but then went to go help his teammate instead of going off stage. Great team awareness on his board. So, so unknown. Hanging on by a thread right now. 158. Oh, yeah, yeah, unsafe smash attacks could get punished by a smash attack and take a stock. Oh, oh nice. my Back goodness. Three kill. Solid three stock. Solid three stock indeed. Oh. I mean I, I don't I don't think it was that impressive. It was just back it was back air back air to tree. Eh. Yeah. You could. You could. It's up to you, Dunham. you you've been on like EMG already. Three times. Alright, so I do think I'm going to agree with you here, Puppe, and say that blue team's going to have some form of a character cloud switch. switch cloud. cloud switch. but which cloud is the Cloud question? and maybe Diddy. Uh, cloud Diddy, okay. Because Zephyr's going to go Cloud. Okay. Because both players do on blue team do, in fact, play Cloud. And Zion in the back providing support. Oh, or... Yeah, maybe, hopefully Diddy, my prediction comes through. His options are really just Link, Diddy, Cloud. Those are his main three. He's also yeah. been playing Ryu for a little bit now. And it's pretty solid. I don't think Ryu would work out. I think they'll get bodied. I don't think either. Ryu can struggle with zoning characters, and Villager is that character. Oh. Uh, if there's no switch, that, that's really stupid. Yeah, I don't agree with this either. You just got body, yo. What are you doing? What the? All right, we're going to Duck Hunt. Okay. And, and Squirt struggles with Cloud, too. Like, I don't see why. That's very true. This is a local and everyone knows each other's flaws at this point. And that seems like something that uh, Blue Team should have picked up on. Basically, any DLC Squirt can have an issue with. But he's doing tremendously well against this one DLC Squirt. I feel like he's got a lot better than Squirt. Oh, I agree. Totally. Like, Squirt is probably the best one he's at in the like, against Bad against Bad against Cloud. Yeah, of the big three DLC. The big three, yeah. You, uh, 
Nothing nice. Really, Lucas and Dutch are playing really count. So unknown. Already at 73%. Squirk is just suffocating them. And Iota is playing so well, just covering all of Squirk's unsafe options. But Zephyr yeah. starting to focus on Iota. Squirk's already at half percent. Nice nair by Sova. Or fair, excuse me. Well, fair is not going to kill. So both teams fighting for center stage as well. He's trying to get in there. He has a grab. Smart by Squirk, knowing that you really can't challenge that. Oh, and yeah, that was very good. He just kind of found it and got the kill. So Reddy going for the down throw up throw that is extremely wrong up. for Zen. He's up there. Okay. So one stock lead, but Squirk is definitely in kill percent. Nice nair out of shield. Yeah. And there goes Sova Unknown. Don't be curious. This is going to win five. He's going to spiral down for me. I was gonna keep the stock for at least another like 30 more percent. Yeah, I remember that Iota was holding his first stock last game extremely well until it was improper DI. So it was yeah. kind of his fault how he died. If he could keep it together, then Red Team has his game in the back. Yeah, Spurk is just running in. And it's paying dividends. Blue Team both around 60s on their second stock. Zephyr starting to fight back though. Blue team's not behind that too much. They kill Iota. Those are the two. Iota knows that, playing very defensively. He's just camping in the corner at this point. He rolled right in there. Oh, not quite that try. Yeah, miss face the tipper, unfortunately. Definitely would have been the stock. Oh, miss grab Iota. But then jumps out of it. Blue team cannot kill Villager right now. Yeah. This is like Villager's goal on team, so. Yeah, it, it used is. to be like pocketing stuff and like throwing at people, but that's how they. Now we can just stop playing. Really good. Yeah, and that was a really nice jab jab forward smash by um, Reggie or Silver Unknown. Yeah. It's really something that we don't see that much. There goes Iota's first stock. So Blue Team has snuck into the lead. Stock lead, but it's stock lead, yeah. Red Team's about to have a stock lead in the second. It's a So it looks like what I would like to see more from Blue Team is they're really not playing doubles as much as they're just playing singles. They're really just one trying to 1v1 red team. That's not working out. Like, blue team is just covering each other so well. Or, red, excuse me, the other way around. Red, red team, team is covering yeah. each other so well. Red team took the lead back, too. So. Mm -hmm. The counter. The good thing it's gotten nerfed. Because that could have been bad. But uh, playing a little reckless now is starting to not work out. Squirt yeah, at 87. Good. Needs to adapt. Starting to come back. They are. They're starting slowly but surely to make a comeback. Nice down air. There's going to rack on meaty damage. I believe that counter was triggered by his own teammate, too. That was tough So very good stuff. Puts him in the egg, hits him with an egg. That was a wild trade. Reggie's, uh, Sova, no, will die from one hit of anything. But Sova, no, you in a... They have one turn up, too. One turn up, yeah. If they can get rid of Corrin, like, this game is really gonna think, I think, the next stock is gonna decide this game. What Blue Team has to do is kill Villager before Yoshi. Because Villager, uh, to be honest, I don't really believe my Iota over Squirt. Mm -hmm. So Squirt should want to die first so we can take the stock. That's true. Yes, that's, that's and pretty good. Share stock right away. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's what I, got, what I said, man. Next stock was going to decide the game. Blue Team got it, but Squirt has made a lot of amazing 1v1s in his Smash 4 career. Yeah, but you're going to have to want Silver, though. Like, you'd, have to, you'd rather want Zephyr to be at the 18 and Silver know that there. That's very true. So Squirt just trying to get in, approaching with air dodges right now, but it's just being waited out by Blue Team. Yeah. Oh, um, the very good nair to nair. This is gonna be tough. He's just trying to find something. That should be it, if not messed up. I mean. I don't know if I'll call that a mess up, but I feel like they definitely could have ended it. But they ended there regardless, so it's going to be 1-1. One, one. So I guess staying, you know, paid off. I guess they kind of just went in with a different mindset. Um, Squirt was playing, like, safe aggressive for a very long time, like, in their face. But, like, knowing that if he misses or hits the field, he's only going to take 5 or 6 damage. And then it kind of switched to, like, unsafe. And you're going to get punished with, like, juggles and smash attacks and edge guards and all that. So that kind of threw, um, put Red Team in a... Horrible position. Blue Team so much worse. It really felt like That's true. it was too close. And this is going to be game three. Loser is going to be out too. So incredible. Yeah, pressure is extremely high right now. This is a really good set though.
we're still contemplating the counterfeit. Which I understand at this point, because this is so, so close. And these are both good teams. Iota and Squirk actually have one anvil. And Reggie and um, Zephyr, I believe, have made second. Miss, miss, miss twist. That's kind of weird. And Town and City's a move. Um, I'm not... So, this benefits uh, Squirk a lot because he was finding those up airs, but Corn and Link kill off the top like the best of them. Yeah, I don't know about the kick. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my goodness! Iota needs to go in there and help him. Yeah, he is. Iota, yeah. He's... There's definitely a difference between covering when your team's in a good position and then helping when your team's in a bad. He's just kind of playing the same. In game one, it worked because they were always in a good position. But near the end of game two, we started to see the flaw in the strategy. And we're starting to see it right now again, too. Yeah. Squirk is just having a lot of trouble landing right now. And Iota is just, like, not there. Just there and getting punished. Yeah, it's a... Uh Link set up pretty low percent. He's not gonna die for a while. But, yeah, and uh, Squirt should have died in one hit. Oh, hits his teammate there, but not gonna do it. That's it. It is. Okay, plants a dream. But the Oda's also gonna die for one hit. Mm -hmm. That's it, yeah. So, blue team, two stock advantage right now. It's just, you know, it's Squirt nice. Gets you up there. Kind of quick paying off. Or goes for the re the roll read, but rolls in instead. Gets stuff by Zephyr for the uh, realizing that he's looking for that, and then just misses and punishes. Blue team's getting a lot of extra credit now. They are so much. They want to keep Corn alive as long as possible. Keep getting damage on it. And Squirt's at super high defense. So. <laughs> Almost gets a jab jab back there. Like, the tree in the center stage is just really, you know, it's very good if you're, you know, ahead. But they're down a solid two stocks. Like, we need to see some adaptation. Okay, they kind of even it. They just didn't kill Link. So, I know, almost getting taken out by an old bomb. He, he has a bomb. He's back. Good. We're good uh, bomb awareness, I guess. We're kind of, you He's know. at 58. That was horrible, yeah. That was. Oh my god, yeah. That's gonna put everything further behind. He cannot be. Villager cannot be dying that early. Sure. Not even at 70% yet. If you play a tanky character, your DI has to be impeccable. Yep. And, you know, it's just. I believe blue team adapted very, very well. Um, red team. They just made a lot of mistakes. Iota didn't come be squirky. Yeah, Iota, yeah. Again, it was. When, it, when they were winning, how Iota was playing was absolutely uh, yeah, perfect. perfect. It was perfect. But when they started to lose, Iota did not adapt strategies, and that meant that blue team just adapted like uncontested. Yep. There was never an adaptation for the adaptation. Yeah, that's true. And that is definitely showing. Bad DI again. So, I mean, near impossible, but Squirk's a god, yeah. That's gonna be it. So Valiant Effort, close set, great adaptation. Oh, wow, I thought that was Squirk, wow, okay. That's it. So, as I was saying, Valiant Effort, great adaptation oh, by yeah, Blue Team. Really so Puppy's about to, I'm gonna like, try to get joined by Reggie or someone. 